So we're going to get into our first of four awards. After these four awards, we're going to get into our championship. I am slightly, slightly ahead of schedule. I don't know if I've ever said that on this one. sure that an award means something. Uh, so we, I have a participation trophy heart, but I believe in the award system. And this was an award that had to be done, and it was very overwhelming uh, that this award needed to be created because of students like this. What? But in this rookie category, what this is saying is that someone new came in here and not only had an impact from a X's and O standpoint, meaning what they're doing from a technicality with their partners and everyone on stage, uh, but what it means to the actually entire league. When people watch them perform, when people interact with them, when people are backstage with them, uh, what kind of message it sends. And then when you have to turn around and go, whoa, really? You're a rookie? This is your first time at this? Uh, that's essentially what this is, and every year these rookies kind of scream to the heavens for us, and it's hard to kind of narrow down. So it was kind of a no-brainer to create this award. Uh, so this is going to be our third official, give, what's the word? <laughs> third official Roby, uh, Roby, uh, our first official Roby, recipient Roby. of this. She's discombobulated. Let me start uh, with, from Silverado, uh, Jillian Garcia. Stay standing just for a moment, just so everyone knows who we are talking about. So in Jillian's case, uh, Jillian came into a team at Silverado uh, that just has their own way of doing it wrong. Uh, if you've ever watched Silverado, they have their own swagger. Uh, this has kind of been the history of Silverado. They create their own things. If any of you watched online improv, they did improv in, in a pool. They, uh, yeah, they did! And, and, and it's... It's hard not to watch Silverado and go, are they really doing that right now? <laughs> and then you have this first year senior, which nothing boils my blood more than a first year senior, who comes in and is a rock star. You know, first year senior that kind of said all the above. Okay, I can get with you weirdos, but I'm also my own person, and I'm going to help you drive this bus. Uh, and I'm going to figure this out. I don't think you ever knew you were doing it. <laughs> I, I'm improvising. <laughs> That's exactly my point. No nominees ever talk back to me. <laughs> so I, I don't know if Jillian really had an idea of the value that she was putting around that team. And I think it grew as the year went on, which is pretty nice. I think in the beginning, it was what we all go through in the beginning when we're learning something new. It's kind of bright eyed and she tailed and trying to figure out what this all means. And by the end of it, you were seeing some power. You were seeing some, okay, this is what I need to do to make sure that Parker and Nathan stay glued together. <laughs> uh, and then we got to see that. We got to see that as a league. We got to see that as an audience. And then we got to see exactly how far you went in the playoffs, simply because of what you added to this particular group. and your part will now be forever remembered as one of our Rookie of the Year nominees. <laughs> From the Valley, we have Dallas Herrera. <laughs> I 
really don't think Dallas, uh, even to this day, realizes either maybe why she's in this category uh, or her value that she added to her team. I remember somewhere midway through the season, you know what, it was, yes, it was the last week of the season. Uh, I went to Valley, because that, that's who was hosting that week, and I was setting up this stuff in the morning before school. Dallas was in the class, I was right there. And Dallas was there and scared to talk to me. Uh, and then at the very end, like, I'm done. I've been there for an hour sweating by myself, setting all this stuff up. Uh, and Dallas was like, did, did you see me? <laughs> yes, I know who you are, Dallas. Of course I know who you are. But that, that is, that is a, such evidence of who Dallas is before you walk out on stage. Uh, and the comments, and just how funny it was that she shared her nerves backstage, and then how she led and did what she did on stage. So Valley, I would say, definitely had a cloud of shyness this year. Sometimes teams go through that as they're learning and growing and getting new people, and that's what Valley was. So you were not weird at all by, how, by what you went through from an anxiety standpoint. But God, are you so good? Are you so funny? Do you know how to navigate scenes? Do you know how to support that team behind you? It's hard to find someone who loves being here as much as your partner, Isabella, and man, it must have been a treat to stand next to you. So Dallas, keep coming back. Keep, keep seeing if I notice you, because clearly I have. <laughs> I can count on one hand how many times this kind of situation has occurred with kind of where Centennial is at. Centennial, for a long time, uh, had a couple of figureheads that were they, they were the they were the leader. They were the one that we watched and talked about. They were main stage performers, all stars. Uh, and then I took those two and I said, "Hey, you're going to coach your all your friends." Uh, which is something I normally try not to do, but it's a, it's a sentiment to them. Uh, but now there's a big hole. Now that those two are gone, what do we do? How do we fill what they brought as a performer? Now, Centennial's a big team. They've got plenty to offer, but just that exact little niche of what the coaches gave that was different, I think Jasmine found. And, and Jasmine doesn't, I don't know if Jasmine knows that. I don't know, Jasmine, have you ever seen your coaches perform? I just did. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly my point. Uh, Jasmine was all power from day one, and I know your coaches didn't say, hey, be like us, please. Um, but it was it was nice for me when I watched Passing of the Torch, and the torch is figurative and not literal. And that's what it was. It was nice to just see what Centennial keeps carrying on, and how your seniors and your four-year players, just how it all worked around you. Because uh, you are now a new nucleus over at Centennial. And now we need to watch you for the next four years. So. <laughs> From LBA, Paige Ian. Yeah. If you look at the look on Paige's face right now, <laughs> that is a hundred percent who Paige is up here. Um, it, it jumps at you. It speaks to you when you walk through the room. It's, it's Paige's personality. Uh, you can't help but notice what, who's about to do something on stage. And there's so much power behind it. There's so much that you have to give. And you did it from the first show. You did it and, it, and your family did it in an email before the year <laughs> the, the excitement was through the roof from the top. And then you have this weird little LVA team, which I'm sorry to say, but you guys were a little weird group. Uh, <laughs> it, it, was, it was a weird, magical group that came together over a year of just different personalities and different people. And when I look sometimes at some of the problems that we have as a society, or even in this district, when people can't get along and there's all these weird, violent things that are happening, and then I think of how different your little group was, Wow, what you accomplished, what you did, and having a personality like yours, it just it makes this thing work. It makes this thing work. If you stick around for a couple of years or if you're not graduating, you'll see we're going to have someone waving our flag until they graduate. So, Paige, thank you. Thank you, Paige!
from Bonanza, Alfonso Bernal. I might paraphrase your story slightly wrong, but I'm going to be close. Um, I'm pretty sure Alfonso's first day of improv uh, was the week of your first show? The day before my first show. Okay, so uh, I think you accidentally stumbled into the wrong room and they went, You're funny, do you want to do this? And then he showed up for a show. Uh, and I remember that first day him going, Where do I go? What do I do? Where do I stand? And I was like, I don't know. Got you. Um, but that turned into one of the most dedicated people in this league by the end of it. Uh, Alfonso would, would message me every week uh, and say, hey, can I have the pictures and I have the videos? We want to study. We want to make sure we're, we're doing our good stuff. And then I guess I heard at one point that Alfonso, I don't know if you were bragging to your team, like, hey, I've got this, I've got this communication with Kobe. Like, he gives me all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and I would, I would give it to all of you if you asked. Um, uh, but, but then, then you're watching this guy who walked in the day before your first show, and he's showing up on bye weeks. He's showing up for shows that aren't his. Uh, he's showing up uh, championship day. He's giving rides to cheer for other teams. Just what you help represent with your wild Bonanza team. Bonanza came to life this year, and you were a giant part of it. Giant, giant party. Alfonso, <laughs> by uh, by doing what you're doing, you're not just making an answer come to life; you're making the league come to life. So I know we get one more year with you. Uh, I'm excited to get one more. Thank you. Let's go! Spring Valley, Milan Frederick. <laughs> all right, so Milan did something in her first show that I've been talking about all year. Uh, they played a team choice game where Milan was the host of the game. Um, and I forget which, which version of the game it was because there's a lot of games that pass that option. But Milan took over as the host, and I mean, I also can count on one hand how many times a coach or for students have asked me to step aside so that they could do it. Uh, hosting is a different animal, and Roman will tell you it's a it's a completely different animal. Coach Ward will tell you uh, this is not easy. This is when when a couple hundred people are telling you to cry. It's hard. <laughs> But oh my god, was I floored, just floored with how natural and how good uh, and how strong you were to get through all of those premises. Because there's things in hosting that we don't even cover, that we don't even talk. And then we, can't, or we transfer over and you just play improv games and you meet up there with your team. Uh, and I said this to your coaches at one point, I said sometimes you're the best person on that stage. With how strong you are, and when, especially when your back gets against the wall. That's what I noticed, is when, you, when you're in that moment that we've all been in, when I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, this scene's not going the way I expect, uh, Roman, blow the whistle, uh, someone come in and save me. Thanks. Uh, uh, that's when you got the best out of Milan. Milan saved the day every single time. That's what Milan was so strong in doing. And even from that alone, we can see that, talk about it, and celebrate it today. So you can start watching next year. We can all just learn from you. So. So we go through these nominations, which is hard. When we get here for voting, voting is also hard. We do have a unanimous winner. Um, I'm going to announce that here in a moment. I'd like you to come up. If you'd like to speak, you can. Uh, I'm not going to force you to speak, of course, but that is completely up to you. Um, I'd like to say, even before announcing the winner, that for me, I know I said I have a participation trophy heart, uh, but I believe in the system and I do. But to be in this category, to me, I hope you six feel like you've already won. Because of what you gave us, and what you did for me. So it's unanimous, we have our winner.
Um, my notes to the winner, my, my personal note. Um, from point A to B, you had quite a journey this year. Imagine how much farther you can go if you keep that same temperament. Our 2022 Rookie of the Year from Bonanza. Everybody here knows they have a family here. And I really appreciate that. So thank you all.